everyone. Listen. So I'm getting ready to make some baked beans. Okay. The ingredients are pinto beans, bake, home style, baked beans. And I have other, in other ingredients to go into it. Now I'm going to clean these beans, take out these little black little things and broken beans or whatever. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick out all the old beans. If you see your beans and your bean have things like this here in your pinto beans, then take this out, okay? Take out any broken pieces, anything broken or anything like that. Take that on out because what we're doing, we're cleaning the bean. See something like this here? Old little bitty wrinkle up beans, broke beans, this color, you know, that really look like it done went through the ringers. Take it out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean these beans first. I'm not going to use a lot of beans uh, because I'm only going to fix a small amount of food. Okay, small amount of baked pork and beans. Okay, it's not going to be a lot. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to clean these beans, and uh, then I'll be back with you. So, I have finished cleaning the beans. And this is what you get out of the beans when you finish cleaning them. Okay, this is what comes out when you finish cleaning them. That's how you know you done cleaned your beans. Broken pieces, little bitty pieces, little green little pieces, you know, dried up beans, all like that. You get them out. Okay, so I have me some apple cider vinegar, okay? Now I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna put me about one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in the beans. Now, when you're doing it that way, and so when you cook your beans and everything, what's going to happen, it is going to cut the gas in your beans when you do it that way, okay? It's going to cut the gas. And then this is one cup of water. We're gonna boil the beans first, cook them all of the way, okay? Cook your beans the whole way and make sure they're good and cooked. And this is only one cup of beans, one cup of red beans, because remember, I'm only making enough for three people. And that's it. So I'm gonna cook these beans right here. Okay, that was about five, five cups, I think I counted in the video when I look at it. Okay, y'all, so let me show you this right here. So now, this is how much ground beef you're gonna need. I'm not gonna use all this ground beef. I'm just gonna use half of this. This right here is 0.89. Now, if it was two cans or something I was would use, then I would use the whole 0.89, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use half of this because I'm only cooking one cup of red beans and I have original baked beans, and this is one, let me see, one pound, 12 ounces, 28 ounces, net weight, 28 ounces. Okay, I'm only gonna use one of these baked pork and beans cans right here, okay? And uh, I'm only going to use half of, uh, half of this bacon. So I'm gonna take the bacon and I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna cook my bacon and my ground beef now and then I'll be back. So only thing I'm using is five slices of bacon and that's it, maybe six slices. Let me put one more in there, maybe six. So now I have my red beans are ready, okay? My bacon is cooked, uh, six slices, make it, uh, seven slices of bacon, uh, thin slices. Um, the ground beef is cooked. Now I have sweet onion, okay? I'm not gonna use all of this. I'm just gonna use one of these because it's small. 
okay i'm only making it for one day and that's it and this is sh uh shallop shallop i'm only gonna use one of these okay one of these and one of these and i'm gonna cut this up and i'll be back okay so i have this here now this right here it came with two onion two of these shallops onions okay I'm only gonna use this one, all right? Not this little bitty one, I'm only gonna use this one. Okay, and I'm gonna cut that on up too, all right? Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna just cut all this hair up. I just cut it all up together, okay? And the grease that you have from the bacon, this right here, this is what you're gonna saute. You're gonna take you're gonna saute these vegetables a little bit in that grease, okay? That's how you're gonna do it. We're gonna saute this here up some in the grease and everything. So I'm cutting this here up now. Don't put no big old chunks in there. Have it where it's, it's, it's nice, okay? Make it small enough, no big chunks. You don't want them big old chunks all up in your uh, baked pork and beans. Okay, you don't want that. This is red beans with baked pork and beans in it, okay? And what you don't want, you don't want no big old onion all up in there. You don't want no, you don't want all that. That's nasty. That don't taste good. You want it cute. Okay, so you take and you cut it up really small. You see how small I have this here? It is cut up small. Okay, take a look at it. See how small it is. It isn't big at all. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get my skillet. Pour me some of this grease in now. That bacon grease, that's what was from the bacon. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to saute my onions up and I'll be back. Okay, so I am back. Now, this is what we're going to do. I have... The red beans are here, okay? So the red beans are going in, okay? And I have that here. See, I only have a small amount. This is just one cup of red beans because I'm just fixing it, fixing enough for, well, now my daughter came over, so I guess it's gonna be enough for like uh, four people. So, I'm doing that. So, I'm putting my baked pork and beans in. So, this is going to go in. So, my baked pork and beans is going in. Okay. And my sautéed... Uh, I sauteed them. See how they sauteed up? And I just put uh, one tablespoon of uh, the bacon grease. That's it. Just one tablespoon. Because all I want to do is just saute it up. Okay? So that's going in. My bacon that I chopped up, it's going in. Okay? Now, the bacon's in there and everything and... Uh, the ground beef is going in. Okay. I'm going to put me about, let's go with a fourth. Okay. Let's go with about a third of a tablespoon of ketchup. Okay. Let's just do a third for now. And then I see what how much more I want to add. Let's go with a third of barbecue sauce. Now this is Sweet Back Baby Ray barbecue sauce. Okay, we're going to go with a third of that. All right. We're going to go with a half a stick of butter. Now while this here is melting in the... While this here is melting... In the oven, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to stir up that butter up in there 
while, while it's cooking. And then after that, I let it go ahead and finish cooking. Okay. And we're going to go with, this is honey. Okay. And this is, we're going to put us about, I'm going to put a third of honey in now. Okay. I want to see just what we're going to have. Okay, so let me mix all this up in here. Now see, this right here is just going to be enough for... Okay, I'm going to put me another third of a cup, so that'll be two of these in there. Okay. And I'm going to put me one more ketchup in there. Another third of each. Two of these. One third cups. Okay. And then I'm going to mix that on up. Because it's like, it's what you're looking for up in here, okay? And then, let me get my mustard. Okay, so we got our mustard. All right. We're going to do us a third of a cup of mustard. Now, don't forget, this is, this is only for, like, this is small enough for four people. If you think you can fix this here and you can get away with it, it, it looks like it'll feed six. It is a very small amount in this little thing. Very small amount. Okay. So, I got that mixed up already. Let me show it to you. See, it's already mixed up. And I'm going to take and put it in the oven. And it's going to finish cooking. And then, I'll be back when it's finished. everything this is what it turned out to be okay i want to show it to you all right now i fix fish potato salad the baked beans fried chicken and uh crabs and i'm not crabs and catfish because uh, a client of mine's uh, brought me some catfish. I had to take and skin it, take that skin, pull the skin off, and everything. But hey, it worked and it turned out good. And I have some crabs. So all I want to tell everyone is that I want you to have a beautiful day. Stay positive. Oh, I forgot. I have some good news for you. Darn good news for you. Okay, my brother went to the doctor on the 7th. Um, what was that? The 7th was yesterday, Wednesday. And his count at first before he started getting this radiation remember he took 25 days of radiation i want to thank everyone for your prayers i want to thank you for everything so before he got started on the radiation his count was 47 of 48. his count when he went back to the doctor on the 7th because he finished a week ago with his uh with his radiation and he went to the doctor this week had his blood and everything drawn and everything he's down to a five a five from 40 something his blood count is down to a five okay for that cancer uh and the doctor said it might even go even lower all right so, I want to thank everyone 
because God is so, so, so good. And I want to tell you, thank you for keeping him in your prayers, okay? And I have uh, another video I'm going to put on here with this video because I've got to show you this place here in San Antonio called Nothing Better. They have these huge oysters that they brought me and my husband. I mean, they brought my husband. I mean, they were big. So, uh, I want y'all to take a look at that video. Uh, and so you can see how big them oysters was. That Put that on the video because I forgot to put the hickory smoke in the bean. Okay? And it's going to take about... For this right here, because it's so small, we'll go with about two tablespoons of hickory sauce. Okay? Um... I think that's about it. I think that's about everything I want to tell you. Uh, well, they had this awful rumor out there. I, I mean, awful. About uh, a person who has been having problems and everything. And, um, you know, saying another person did something to him. Some famous person. Everybody know who I'm talking about. They had this rumor out there. He, was, he had gone. Let me tell y'all something. And I notice this a lot. Stop using the 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 YouTubes for uh 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 false pretenses to people because that's not good in life, you know. It's just not I notice a lot of stupid stupid stuff that I'm not in high school anymore. I'm an adult. I do adult things. I, uh, certain way when you get up older, it's a lot of things you need to stop doing. You know, uh, I was somewhere and, uh, I noticed how some of these women are dressing with their children. I'd be so embarrassed. I would be so embarrassed if that was my mama and she show up buck naked. I, my children and me used to pick my clothes out for me when they went to school. I'm getting on a whole new topic. I don't got on so many topics because I got so much stuff all on my mind, running all over my mind. But I'll wait till another time to talk about it because I am hungry. I'm tired. I went to work today, came home and cooked. I am superficial tired. My daughter came over from work and, uh, She's ready to eat. Everybody's ready to eat. So all I want to tell you is have a beautiful day. And bon appetit, baby. So everyone, I want you to take a look at this here platter that I have here. This is fish, oyster, shrimp, crawfish, dirty rice, and cold slot, but look at my husband's oysters, how big they are. I have never seen oysters this big before a day in my life. So this right here is called Nothing Better. This is the name of the restaurant, Nothing Better. So I showed y'all it before on my YouTube video, and I want to show it to you again, okay?